Hello guys, today we make a cap for a battery. You might think this is kind of useless. But the issue here is a friend of me has this battery for his camera and he uses the camera at work. And if he stores his battery in a pocket where another metal object is touching the contacts of the battery, the battery actually discharges. So he hooked me up and asked me if I could make a cap so he can secure the contacts and prevent the battery from discharging in his pocket. How to do this? We'll make a picture of the battery and then load the picture to Fusion Physics and start modeling. Let's jump into it. Choose your picture from the insert button and drop it to the XY plane. Be sure to adjust the opacity to about 50%. Then draw a dimension and measure the dimension on the real part. Select a easy dimension, so I chose a distance from one corner to another corner. Then you can resize the picture according to the dimension you measured on your part. Further I tried to adjust the angle and of course the size of the picture to match the dimension I've measured. I checked it and was pretty confident with the result. Then I started modeling the outer shape with lines. Besides the lines, I also used splines. Those help you to match the round shapes and some odd geometries in an easy and fast way. The last thing was to make a offset of the outer geometry for a wall and then extrude the geometries to get the final part. So after printing my first design, I realized that this one is absolutely too loose. You can see this is number one. And if you put it on, it's printed in PLA it kind of comes off very easily. So, what did I do? I narrowed the inner side by an offset. Made the inner geometry slightly smaller so it would fit better onto the top. So let's go back to the designing. Basically, I made an offset in another direction And then I redefined the sketches for my extrusions and chose two sketches for the outer extrusion. I made a mistake here and uh, extruded the wrong profile in the wrong height, but well, this happens to everybody at some point. As you can see, this was the first one. This was the second one. <laughs> I took off the edges to see how much is missing. This one is the third one. I narrowed the inner geometry down every every time and the final one is 0.2 millimeters smaller and it just fits like a glove onto the battery as you can see. It's really perfect. But this was not everything. I wanted to go into flex material. So I designed three more. This is number five and I use the same tolerances as on the PLA. You might think, okay, so this should also work, but it doesn't. The PLA does fit very well and doesn't move, but the flex, because it's not as rigid as the PLA, comes off very easily. So. I made number six. 
number six is right here and number six fits better what did i do i also increased the wall height around here because the flexible materials just come off very easy this is pretty good but it's not right there where I wanted it to be so I made number seven and number seven I'm quite confident that this one will hold also you can see it does get on pretty hard but with the flexible material it's no problem and it fits very well and it's pretty good I will need to ask my friend which one he wants to use if this one or this one and if he wants to have the stiffer material I will print this out in ABS so it will last almost forever I hope at least well I call this practical 3d printing you can use this skill on almost everything just trace the outlines of the part and you're good to go use the tools in Fusion 360 you can do some iterations you need to do some iterations of course you won't have the perfect match on the first time but the, that's the benefit of 3d printing you can do a lot of iterations in a short amount of time this took me about two hours to find the sweet spot where it holds perfectly as always i hope you liked the video thank you guys for watching if you like the video, give me a thumbs up or a subscription. Thank you very much. Have a nice day and goodbye.